From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. The U.S. government has announced that it's going to share some 60 million doses of the AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine with other countries that need it. And the Bahamas is trying to get some of that. Health Minister Wells has confirmed the government is asking and hoping. I'm not sure whether the Bahamas would be a part of the countries that received the donation. Um, but I don't see any reason as to why we would not be. Um, I have long said uh, that the Bahamas is one of five countries that sits on the borders of the United States. The U.S. had already given uh, AstraZeneca vaccines to Mexico and Canada. Um, the only other three countries that sits on its border is Cuba, Russia, and the Bahamas. Health officials continue the vaccination effort around the country while they wait for an answer. Another 63 confirmed cases reported for Monday, 51 in New Providence, 11 in Grand Bahama, 1 in Bimini. The hospital numbers are back over 50, 52 persons being treated, three in the intensive care, no other deaths reported. Additional issues reported in schools, three private schools have confirmed cases, St. Anne's, St. John's, and Prince William's. Those schools have shut down in-person learning for at least two weeks on the staff of the House of Assembly in quarantine after Chief Clark David Forbes tested positive. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The current emergency orders expire on May 23rd. Will it continue after that? Well, Attorney General Carl Bethel says that hasn't been decided as yet. Until we reach a stage where there's sufficient vaccinations and in the Bahamas, we are using every available means to secure enough vaccines for those who wish to take it. The promoter of that big weekend party here in the capital in violation of the current emergency orders fined almost $100,000. Health officials concerned about those types of gatherings. One telling the media it shows that our guard is slipping. 21 Cuban nationals, 18 men and 3 women, repatriated yesterday. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's Haku Weather Update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area now. Some clouds, some sun. Highs in the low to mid-80s, 82 at Freeport, 83 in the capital, 85 at Matthew Town. Caution flag still up for boaters, winds still up around 20 knots, the seas up to 6 feet over open waters. Next tide is a high around 10 this morning, next low about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's World News headlines the scenes in India being described as horrific as the coronavirus crisis continues there. Our country has now passed 200,000 deaths, second only to the U.S. Hospitals have been overrun. Some people are dying outside waiting to get treatment. Meantime, the U.S. is making progress in its vaccination effort to the point where President Biden has announced new CDC rules. Persons who are fully vaccinated do not need to wear masks outside anymore. It's still recommended for indoor, though. In Brazil, the Congress there continues a hearing against President Bolsonaro and his handling of the coronavirus outbreak. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 486, SO 488, Rubus $4.93 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Tough break for Jazz Chisholm in Major League Baseball. He's got an injury. Read about it in the Tribune Sports. Find out how long he's likely to be out. Get the rest of the Major League Baseball news and the latest on the NBA. The Nets are in the playoffs. A preview of the Kentucky Derby horse races in the Tribune Sports. Former boxer Ray Minus Jr. getting some help this weekend. Find out what that is. And ready for the NFL Draft. The first round tomorrow night in Cleveland. 
For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 